A lot of people are in relationships these days, yet even more, people are breaking up. This must mean that many mistakes are being made. Are you just coming out of a relationship? Have you taken out time to check and discover what went wrong? Or are you just hoping to dive right into the next coming relationship? Number 1. Not speaking up to set boundaries One of the biggest and most common mistakes people make in a relationship is not setting boundaries. Not setting boundaries means that anything is allowed and this is why some people have reached a place in their relationship where it's as though their partner can't do anything to them. If you don't teach your partner how you prefer to be treated, then you would be treated anyhow. Not because they don't love you, but rather because they don't know how best to treat you. Boundaries help to establish what and what not is acceptable in a relationship. It helps to keep peace in the relationship. Rather than just always accepting everything your partner does in the name of tolerance, why not establish boundaries? Instead of just keeping shut each time they shout at you, say, I don't appreciate you raising your voice at me. Why don't you take some time and cool down, then we can talk. You can tell them things like, I don't want us to talk about breaking up, even when we are fighting. When you do this, it creates a boundary and lets your partner know that you don't appreciate thoughts or talks regarding breakup. A person who keeps tolerating everything their partner does without speaking up on their concerns would only be sending the wrong messages to them. What the partner would be learning is that this is okay by her since she didn't speak up and they would keep running with the thought and action even though it's hurting you. But you see, they have almost no idea that you do not like it because you didn't establish the boundary. It's necessary to speak up and talk about things that concern you, something you don't like for a long while, then you would have to speak up to them. It's also necessary to ensure that you don't overdo it or become a constant complainer. For some relationships, the problem is too much talking and too much complaining about, I don't like it like this, or I'd rather you do it this way. You must ensure that you aren't always complaining. Persons who always talk too much about the things their partners are doing wrong would only make it possible for their partner to be happy and free in the relationship. Their partners would have a hard time satisfying them and eventually, they may get very tired and disinterested. You must learn when to let things go and when to speak up. Number 2 not communicating properly. One of the biggest mistakes that are destroying relationships today is a lack of good communication. Many times, couples are always so busy in their work of the day that they get too engrossed and forget to communicate with one another. Sometimes it's the excessive stress that causes the lack of communication. Each partner has gone and has worked for a lot of hours, so they both are too fatigued and just want to sleep and rest. In fact, instead of talking, many people hold in things and then explode into massive arguments. Because of the many financial stress, problems at work, grief and more, each person comes home and barely spends time talking or asking the other person about their day. When this continues to happen, it can break and destroy the relationship. Technology is another big reason why people aren't communicating. Most people carry their phones around and are always communicating on their phones rather than with people around them. This has a way of making people lose their intimacy with their partners. While you're still thinking that you have your partner and that you both are very close, you would realize that you barely even know things about each other again. This cancer is a big relationship killer. When you both are unable to communicate properly, there would be an increase in conflict and arguments. Both of you would blame each other for everything and you would keep having more arguments which you most likely cannot solve because you still can't communicate properly. A lack of communication will cause you both to always misunderstand each other. There will always be confusion and misinterpretation of each other's motives, actions and speech. Both partners would feel lonely 
because they are unable to speak to their significant other. This would make them pull away and reduce intimacy with each other. In many cases, the partners may even go further to seek understanding and intimacy from other places. As a couple, a lack of communication is very destructive. The couple wouldn't be able to set goals or work towards setting goals because they can't communicate properly. Individual growth and success may also suffer because of a lack of support from the partner. This causes more growth apart. The stress from a lack of communication causes you to read everything your partner does and say as a bad thing, you will begin to see all the bad sides of your partner. Number 3. Too much codependence on each other. Usually because couples are always spending so much time together, they tend to forget that they are separate entities. They spend so much time together and begin to get lost in their relationships. This isn't healthy. Each person requires their level of independence. Not having your personal life means that you're not paying attention to your life's goals or purposes. It means that the only things that the both of you are doing are things for the both of you. What about the things that are personal and individual to each of you? How do you do that if you want to always be together? In the long run, what this results in is bitterness and tiredness of the soul because of a lack of self-fulfillment or accomplishment. Take some time off, spend time with your friends, go out and live out your dreams. Nobody hopes that our relationship would break. However, if it does break, how would you be able to live when you're completely dependent on your partner? Both partners being too dependent on each other isn't a good thing. Even if you both would never break up, the real thing is that your partner can never always be available for you. So what happens when you can't reach them or they can't come running to you? Some sort of independence is good for a relationship. It builds the self-esteem of both individuals in the relationship and makes the relationship a happy one from a conscious decision of two people rather than two people always being together because they are going with the flow. Number 4. Getting Lazy A mistake a lot of couples are making is not taking out time to chill or play. For some couples, going out ended once they had secured their partner and had established that they were dating. Therefore, they see no reason to keep going out. Playing does many beautiful things for relationships. It increases the happiness between a couple. Some people are yet to realize that a relationship takes hard work, and some people aren't ready or cut out for this sort of hard work. A lack of commitment to the work it takes to sustain a relationship will only lead to a bad, unsuccessful relationship. There's so much work to be done. Sometimes you're so tired, yet you would have to do X because you've promised your partner so. Getting lazy is one mistake that many people are making in their relationships today. Number 5. Too much needs to satisfy expectations If people always try too hard to satisfy their partner's needs, then it would always lead to the building of fake expectations, which will lead to disappointment and hurt. It's impossible to satisfy all your partner's wants. It's even more problematic if only one person is the one always trying to satisfy the other person. This is destructive. It means such a person is always laying up their own needs for that of their partner. Compromise is good and necessary, but it must not be always. This isn't a call that couples shouldn't satisfy each other's needs or expectations. It is however wrong if one person is always doing it while the other does nothing. It's always bad if you both are always having too many expectations for each other because it would always lead to too much hurt when the expectations aren't met. Not setting boundaries, not communicating properly, depending on one another too much, getting lazy, and having too much expectations are the common mistakes that are destroying relationships. These things would cause one or both partners to get frustrated and tired of building a relationship. When these things aren't actively worked upon, the relationship is heading towards doom.